Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the Farm Vlog today. Got some stuff going on here on the farm. I'm going to take you over on the other side of the farm where the most dangerous thing that could ever go on on the farm is going on right now. We'll take you over there. We'll show you that. We're going to do a little bit of tractor work and just have a little bit of fun around here on the farm. Not a very educational vlog today, just a little bit of what's going on here on the farm and take you over and we'll show you all the activity that's going on. Very, very dangerous activity. If the wind were to shift, we'd have some big, big troubles. So let's go have some fun together, all right? Woo! Stony Bridge. Farm Stony Bridge. Stony Bridge Farm. Woo! <laughs> all right. Get that water. Get that water. Oh my gosh, you let your dog drink out of the creek? <laughs> so there's a funny story about the dog drinking out of the creek. When we first moved up to the farm and we got Buddy the dog, my wife was insistent that we need to carry the dog across the creek. And I said, he's a dog, it's okay. She says, no, we've got to carry him across the creek. He, there's no way he can make it across that creek. <laughs> and now he loves to swim in the pond. He can swim all the way across the pond. <laughs> City folks just don't get it. So we're on the gator, we're probably uh five to eight hundred yards away from our house we can still barely see this area but we're gonna ride up on this spot and you'll know what i'm talking about danger here in just a second guys you might have guessed it fire besides falling off a tractor getting ran over getting smushed getting cut all that stuff nothing matters this is the most dangerous thing going on on the farm so we have brush piles over here behind you could probably see them we'll ride over there and i'll show you a little bit closer but we have brush piles left over from where the timber crew was working in here now i know what you're thinking there's no way to mulch it there's no way to compost it the only thing to do is get rid of it with fire so we lit this fire the day before yesterday and it's still sitting over here smoking smoldering and it's still really hot i'll get you some close-up shots so even though the fire has been burning for several days now it's still very very much a danger very very hot and really high wind is a big time danger here so the way this thing works if you decide to burn you have to contact the forest service and get what's called a burn permit you get your burn permit you make sure there are no burning bans in your county or in your area and then you call the 911 non-emergency line the sheriff's office line and you report and tell them hey we're going to be doing some burning here's the address this is what we're doing this is what we're burning now the fire department got called on us anyway I don't know how that slipped through the cracks, but we had this pile to burn and there's another pile way on down in there that we burned and it, it was pretty small. But this thing right here, I don't know if you can tell the scale of this, but it's probably the floor space of four houses, okay? And the, the height of it, it was at least 12 feet high. Now we're probably down to like four feet high and it's gonna sit here and probably smolder for a week or so. So let's go over and I'll show you what the burn piles look like. They're right over here. We'll go get a close up of what they look like before this right here. Okay, so just to give it some scale, here's the gator and here is the burn pile. It just keeps going and going and going. So we've got two burn piles over here that we're gonna be burning. And basically that's the only way to get rid of it unless we just let it sit there and rot and uh, make a breeding ground for snakes. But you know, it could be good for rabbits and stuff like that. And we also have one more big burning pile over here. What it looks like someone has come out here and thrown some trash in my burning pile. See that? That's not cool. You can see a little bit of the danger right here see all that smoke all that smoldering that's a huge fire guys probably bigger than any fire most of you have ever seen if you've ever burnt slash piles like this leave me a comment down there we call it a slash pile because basically all this wood couldn't be composted it couldn't be ground up into wood chips and it couldn't be used at the sawmill so this is what the timber folks the timber crew pushed up into a big pile so there's the pile and there's the gator it's huge huge pile we're gonna light that up probably in the next day or two so now let's get over here and get our tractor work done we're gonna unload all the hay bales off of the back of my pickup truck you'll see the artistic way that I had to stick these hay bales in here it's a little bit hairy trying to pull these bales off but I'll take you over here and show you we might even throw the drone up in the air get some aerial shots of this smoke right here give you a little bit of scale with the drone here's another project for another day too 
<laughs> Whoopsie daisy. The next chore for the day is to take the tractor right here and we've got to get these bales of hay out. Earlier this week I told you about how the goats were eating so much hay and we're going to start rotating them through pasture. But first of all, we've got to get rid of some goats. Before we start rotating them through pasture, we've got to get rid of some because one finds its way through the fence, all of them will find their way through the fence. And it's really difficult to keep goats in. So the project we've got to do here is we've got to get the bales of hay, which <laughs> I ever so artistically put in the back of the truck here, we got to get them off. And we also got to get the ones out of the trailer here. Now, here's how I have to do this. I had to basically jackknife the trailer right here in order to make this work. So I can pull the tractor straight up to the back of the truck right here and stab that bale and try to pick it up. And I can also get these bales too. Pretty cool. So let's hop on the tractor and we'll get it done. That's what the drone looks like in automatic mode. So it automatically detected the battery was going low and went over here and landed. That's the DJI Mavic Pro. Really cool. The battery on this drone lasts 27 minutes. Awesome. Maybe there will be a touch of education here. So this is called a hay spike, okay? You can get a good look at it right here. It has three tines on it. Those are tines, those two things at the bottom, and then the big spike here at the top. Now, the way it works is it goes in and it stabs into the hay bale. I'll show you right here. So basically you wanna try and stab somewhere near the center of the hay bale, and then the two 
bottom spikes stabilize the hay bale and you can lift it up and move it around. If you didn't have the bottom two or at least one on there, it would be unstable and roll or tend to roll to the heaviest point. So there's a little bit of education. So what you do is you roll right up to it, stab it in and lift up and that picks up the bale. And then when you get ready to set it down, you just set it down gently and back up and it just backs right back out. And that's how the hay spike works right there. Pretty cool. Looks kind of scary. Let's go over here and I'll show you the goober that I left on the truck here. <laughs> So you really can't fit two big thousand pound round bales in the back of a pickup truck like this. So I did and it actually opened my rear slider for me and plastered <laughs> wet, nasty, mucky hay all over everything. And uh, I'm not too sure it didn't bend a little bit right here too. You know, tractors are more powerful than you think. I don't know if you guys saw this truck moving and shaking, but it's a three quarter ton truck. It's not a monster truck and it's not made of the thickest steel. I mean, it's thick, it's heavy, but it's nowhere near as heavy as that tractor. So I might have to do, do a little bit of pry work here to get that thing off the cab. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm today. I appreciate you. Be sure you click that like button. Give me that thumbs up. Let me know what you're thinking. Leave me some comments down there. Thanks for coming along with me here on the farm. I'm glad to spend a little bit of time with you and show you what's really going on. Thanks a lot, guys. Come on back and see me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I appreciate you. We'll see you soon. All right? Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your